Make sure you keep your mouth closed while chewing. Eating out in another country is sometimes intimidating. Therefore, in this video, I would like to share a few tips with you how to dine out in Germany and not get embarrassed. If you don't know me yet, my name is Martha from Cooking the World and I am a food guide, blogger and traveler based in Frankfurt. If you are interested in traditional food, please subscribe to our channel. We post one video a week which goes live on Sunday morning. I've been working as a food guide for the past two years and I need to tell you that I've seen a lot of things, how people eat and how people behave in the restaurant. And unfortunately, not all of them were okay. So the first subject I would like to talk to you about is seating. So if I go out to the restaurant in Germany, I would actually wait to be seated. Even if some restaurants um, would allow you to choose um, the table for yourself, I think it's just more polite. While choosing a table for yourself, you need to be aware of the fact that some of the tables are called Stammtisch and those tables are kind of reserved for regular guests. Sometimes you can see the sign on the tables, but usually um, this is something what the waiter or waitress would know. While walking into the restaurant, please uh, take off your hat and as soon as you found your table, um, make sure that you hang your coat um, on the rack somewhere. The restaurant owners or waiters and waitresses, they don't like having the coats um, hanging near the seating. And also be aware of the fact that in Germany, especially in the traditional restaurants, uh, you can uh, share a table with somebody else and you don't need to feel intimidated, it is normal. When it's about ordering, uh, as soon as you get the menu, please do your job, choose your drink, choose your food and then order straight away. The thing is that in a um, traditional German restaurant, uh, you usually not a king. The waiter or the waitress is the king and they're gonna come to you whenever they have time and not when you are ready. Don't get me wrong, in nicer restaurants, this is definitely a case. But if you end up in a very traditional place, like for example here in Frankfurt, the Apple Wine Tavern, that's gonna be completely different. When you are with a bigger group of people also, uh, the first who order is the oldest woman and the last the youngest man. Also, be aware of the fact that in Germany we don't order tap water. It is impolite. We do drink water from the tap, but we don't drink it in the restaurants. Usually in the traditional German restaurants, uh, if you order tap water, you're not gonna receive it. Also, you need to be aware of the fact that when ordering water, you're actually gonna get sparkling water to the table. So if you would like to have still, you're gonna need to mention this. The next thing is gonna be drinking. If somebody is making a toast, we actually do toast with uh, alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. Please make sure you keep the eye contact when toasting. It is considered bad luck if you don't do this. And also for your information, many of the traditional uh, restaurants in Germany don't have ice in their soft drinks. And this is not because they don't want to give you ice, they literally don't have ice machines. But on the good note, the drinks come from the fridge. Usually the portions in the German restaurants are pretty big, so we don't eat um, three courses. The most that we actually eat is only two. So if you don't want to eat uh, such a big portion, you can always ask um, if they do two third or a half portion. This way you can actually try more. So now let's move on to eating. If you see a napkin on the table, even if it's a paper one, we usually put it in your lap. When are you leaving a table temporarily, please put the napkin on the chair and when you go back, pick it up and put it again in your lap. In Germany, it's also very common that the food um, for the whole group uh, doesn't arrive at the same time. But that doesn't mean that you can actually start eating as soon as you get your food. I think it's okay to ask if you um, can start with your food as soon as you get it, rather than start eating it straight away. While eating, remember to keep your hands uh, on the table, but your elbows off the table. And now we come to the most important one, and I know that for so many of you this is still a pain, but we really eat with a fork and knife at the same time. That means that you try to keep both of them uh, in your hands, 
during the whole meal. I have seen many people that would just cut like we would and they would put the knife back and they would take the fork and they eat it, which is very weird for us. So I think that much easier is when you just don't switch. And when you are done with your food, uh, please put your cutlery parallel to the, to the table. Could you please let me know in the comments down below if those rules also apply in your country? Or are there any other rules that we have to follow from your country when we visit it? So the next pretty big subject is paying and tipping. And also, it is okay to ask for a doggy bag if you haven't finished your food. I even think that it's more polite to take the food home rather than uh, leave it on the plate so they can um, throw it away. So usually, if you are finished with your food and you don't want any more drinks, you're gonna have to ask for a bill. So the bill is not gonna come automatically to your table when you don't order anything else. When it's about the tip, usually a service charge is not included in the gym in restaurant. So I usually leave a between uh, 10 or 15% if I really like the service. If you didn't like it, you don't have to leave anything. That's also fine. So those would be the tips from my side. Now you know exactly how to behave in the gym and restaurant and I hope that now you gain some confidence. If you are coming to Frankfurt though, I have prepared a special guide to visit uh, Frankfurt Apple Wine Tavern. So please go ahead and watch this video next. We do have some extra Frankfurt rolls uh, on the top of that. Please let me know about the table manners in your country. I would love to hear that from you in the comments down below. And if you would like to know more about the table manners, I actually found a very great article about them and I'm gonna put the link to it in the description box down below. Check out this video next if you would like to know what traditional um, dishes you can eat uh, on your trip to Germany. And if you like this video, please uh, click this like button and be sure to subscribe to our channel for the future videos. I wish you as always happy week and safe travels. Bye.